All right, another day in paradise, boys and girls. There we go. Definitely heard some off-putting fucking news this morning. Really throws stuff in the face of me being a white person and bitching about racism. Is the white supremacists shooting up black people or different color of people, whatever they're fucking doing. Up in fucking Buffalo and I guess El Paso too. I used to live in El Paso. I mean, I figure white people down there, but used to be in the minority. I think when I went to school down in El Paso, I was one of four white kids in the whole school. So, I mean, it's not like it's a predominantly white area. White people are the minorities there. I mean, in school, they would have race riots of Spanish and black people. And on those days, I'd go home. Because <laughs> I would have to pick a side and get beat up from the other side. <clears throat> but, god damn, I mean, it, it does strike me kind of convenient with all these tempers flaring up and white people getting blamed for everything and all of a sudden there's a white supremacist just happens to be out there shooting black people up. To where, I mean, that shit didn't even happen towards the end of the fucking civil rights movement. It was just people grabbing black people as racists open-ended racist but the last like 20 30 years in my entire life maybe i had my head in the sand but i never remember white supremacists lighting up fucking black people i mean if, if i'm wrong let me know but i don't remember that ever happening and it's it seems so i don't know maybe i'm just trying to find the silver lining in a white cup i don't know <sighs> but it just seems kind of ridiculous that they got two sides fighting right now White people versus black people And all of a sudden white people are fucking shooting up black people it, it, I, I don't know With a fucking sign on his gun Saying here's your reparations Come on it, it Just seems Really really convenient And if it happened If it did lock him up Give him the death penalty he's a fucking idiot Should be shooting anybody no matter what color they are it's not worse that it's racist. It's just bad. Murder is worse than racist. And racist murder is still murder. They're all fucking horrible. So whoever is doing this stupid shit and killing people, and if it's, especially if they're on camera doing it and he admitted it, give him the death penalty. Those are the few cases where death penalty can be used. And it should be used. I mean, come on. An eye for an eye. We should use more common sense in our justice system and less litigation. Litigation, if there's, I don't know, if there's opposing views, if there's benefit of the doubt, if it might not be. But if it's a slam dunk and everyone knows it, skip the fucking litigation. Go through the process, do it up, say, yeah, he's guilty. Here's the camera. Did you do it? You did it? Yeah, you did. All right. Well, you can't put to death. Why'd you do it? Don't care why you did it. You're a fucking idiot. You dumb white supremacist piece of shit. But I've just heard too many stories about, I don't know, agents being paid by the government to do certain things to hype up the masses in some way. And like I said, it, it just, it seems really fishy. It's too a patty, because it thinks about it. Ugh. Hello. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, not bad. Just kind of on my way. I have to stop and get uh, milk today, so that's going to be part of my morning drive in. How are you? <laughs> Mom called me yesterday. Did she really? She asked if I wanted to go to the flea market, and yesterday was just wasn't. I had a my. I hadn't had a bad migraine in a while, like a really bad one. And I told her I couldn't go because my head was hurting. 
<laughs> surprise, surprise. First one in a while, the day mom calls. <laughs> Well, I mean, I was in bed until like one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> like I couldn't, I physically can't get out of bed because of how bad it was going. I'm still in bed with today. Yeah. Probably because I didn't, you know, do too much yesterday. I went to the flea market yesterday. Me and Erica did. Um, she went to the one that's on the New York border. Yeah, I was not going to that one. Fuck that shit. Why the fuck would you? There's two of them within driving distance, within a half hour. Why would you drive an hour and a half? No, should have been just stay close. Should have been down. Yeah, but the Circle Inn is right there. And the other one is yeah. down by me. Oh. And, and there's also right there's also a third one in the Moonlight Drive-In, which is also down by me. Oh, you got to send me the information for this. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. The, the company I work for runs the flea market down here at the Garden oh. Inn Drive-In. you get a discount? No. But the guy oh, I work yeah. with, Junior, he maintains it every Sunday morning, and he gets a piece of the pie. Nice. I guess they own the drive-in, the the, the the company that I work for. They they own oh, the, awesome. the garden and drive-in, yeah. I mean, do they allow do they allow dogs in? Oh yeah, there's dogs everywhere. And I went to her <laughs> staff shooter once. Oh, I yeah. was at OK on her first training, but they had so many dogs there, and it was freaking her out. Yeah, sometimes I mean it's tough to get that one-on-one, -on -one, especially when there's a bunch of people doing the same thing and. It's hopefully you were able to get some of your money's worth. Well, no, no, she was just barking a little bit because the, the one dog that sat right to the left of us looked just like Shaggy. Huh, that's cool. Just like him. That's cool. And then uh, we had two Great Danes puppies, wow. 18 month old puppies on the other side. They're gonna be big boys. So she she was a little intimidated, but then there was like three itty bitty dogs and then two left. <laughs> So what, it, it was just like all you guys standing in a circle or something like that, inside of like a gated area? Uh, it, it was a gated, we weren't all standing, they had chairs for everyone, and I had the kids with me, so the kids were, were working with me, so after she's like, get them to do this, I would try and get Eros and Verity to do it with her, <clears> so that they can, the puppy can see that we're all in charge kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, to, so no matter who's home, to listen, basically. Yeah. But yeah. The problem is she doesn't listen for arrows for shit. Yeah, well, arrows kind of has that, that that whiny mentality, and dogs, I mean, they they need that authoritative word, the authoritative feel. That like not strong hand. It's it's I don't know. It's just dogs take the lead when the lead is present, kind of thing. When there is a leader. Sissy is the leader out of those two, so she probably listens to her more because she sees that. Eros. Kind of headbutted uh, Meredith in the face. She has a like she has like a uh, puffy nose. Uh, poor little girl. <laughs> yeah, and it looked like she had a black eye on Friday, so it looked better than it did. Yeah, and I'm sure she didn't mean to. She probably just popped her head up or something. Yeah, but um. But as long as she's okay, she'll live. She'll be all right before she's all right, married. No, she's fine. I'm like, what happened? She's like, with Tara. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I got myself she a uh, Cowboys tractor trailer at the uh, flea market. Nice. What do you mean tractor trailer? Uh, do you know those old, like, little um, tractor trailer model things? They like the Hess, and it has, like, the Mobile 1-1, one -one and they're, 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 like, collectible type yeah. things. There's yeah. they're, they're they're that things, but there's the Dallas Cowboys, and I work oh, on tractor cool. trailers all day, so it just it, it works out. So I'm I'm bringing it to work to to put up my toolbox. Nice, that's cool. <sighs> well, mainly because I'm the only one that doesn't have a toolbox. I I made a tool wall because I can't afford to buy like a thousand dollar toolbox like all these guys have. So I just ripped apart a bunch of pallets that were throwing it away. And I attached them to the brick wall, so now all my tools are, are, are on my wall. Oh, cool. Kind of like how it was when you were cooking. Uh, yeah, to an extent. I mean, yeah, all my stuff's on the wall. There's They're on hooks and nails and uh, bolted in and all this other shit. Just like if you were to go to someone's garage. And basically yeah. how people have their tools in a garage. They have it on, like, pegboard sometimes, and it's... It's just like class to the wall in some cases. It's just kind of how that is. 
And now I, I have a little ledge there. I'm gonna put my little Cowboys tractor trailer thing. But yeah, it's it, it's it's pretty fly. It's pretty cool. For a white guy. It's pretty fly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so day one of fucking training. Oh, speaking of that, what am I about to say? No, no nothing. I, I actually, so mom's credit card is attached to my ASA, USAA account. Okay. She said it's an emergency case that need to use this one to be attached to it. And I said, fine, I don't, you know, I don't care. Yeah. My <clears throat> well, my, <clears throat> I paid off my, um, I made a payment on my uh, insurance. And I'm like, she only owes $94 left on the car, so I paid it off, like, two weeks, like a week ago. Okay. Even though she was mad, I just paid it off. <sighs> and, and, I'm just, and I told her, I'm like, yeah, did you notice anything about your car? And she goes, no, what? And I'm like, it's, it's paid off. Like, you don't have to worry about that. Now it's another bill that, because she's still not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, what? And I'm like, I, I finished paying it off for you real quick. And she, and she got really shocked, and I'm just... My only thought is like, um, hopefully she didn't get mad at you it. for it. Uh, I mean, she she should be no, happy. No, no, no. She said thank. She said thank you. But okay. it's one of those like where she was shocked. And she, I'm like, yeah. you know, just because you're being a bitch, you know. Yeah. I mean, just because you're mad at us, don't mean we're we're mad at you. It's kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah, I told her it was paid off, and she was really surprised that it was actually paid off. Good. Hopefully, it, it put her in a good mood. It made her happy a little bit, but. Well, I think that's why she got off the phone with me so quickly because I told her I wasn't feeling good before I told her about the car thing. Yeah. So she was able to just kind of, like, all right, well, that's off. But I still don't I think mean, she should be going to the flea nice, market. Yeah, I, well, I, absolutely. And, and and you have the extra money and you helped her out. Yeah. That's come out of um, child support from Justin. I didn't need that didn't come out of any of my actual money money. Yeah. So it's not it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, like I said, hopefully she took it as it was, just a, a nice a nice um thing. Yes, mom, you never know. Where I know. She's off well that's why I asked if she was mad. Because she, she gets mad about that. She didn't seem reactive at all. So that's it. Yeah. Hopefully I'm like, she are you just... killed? I asked her if she was feeling better. She's like, I don't want to talk about that. So whatever's wrong is still wrong. Yeah. And then she, <sighs> but she did also comment on the text message thread, which is good. Did she? Yeah, I, I did see that. She put like a smiley face thing. Yeah, so it's like. Well, that's because I put up the fucking thing saying word to your mother. And I was trying to get her to say something. I'm like, hey, <laughs> you out there? Hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think she's going to go. Oh, starts in the same thing. Now, do you have work on Memorial Day? Nope, it's mandatory oh. day off. Okay, well that's not bad. It's a holiday, you probably don't have work either. See, that's what I'm thinking. The The more I thought about it, the, the more I started thinking that I don't have work probably. And Uncle will have work. Because they yeah. do with Christmas, Christmas Eve and everything. Yeah, she always has work. So. Oh, it sucks about I mean, those she places. It's, it's not busy season. She can't request PTO now. Yeah, which I'm sure she could if she wanted to. But. Oh. Yeah. That's.
it's raining. Rain, rain. Yeah, it is better than snow. It absolutely is better than snow. You finally got gets what now? Some of them ain't too bad though. I mean, the thing is, just get something cheap for right now, and then when as time goes on, yeah. Did you get it off Amazon or did you find it like about or something? Walmart, okay. panicky thing then it's actually a comfortable thing you know if you can learn to well yeah well driving could be a nice comfortable thing especially in the morning it, Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's more of a uh, panic just because you're late. Well, kind of. Uh, when when we mom was still with Lane and we were in Germany, my panic attacks about being late were so bad that I was I actually Wayne forced me to quit working at Subway because I had a mental breakdown from being late. Yeah, well, if if being laced into a met mental breakdown, you definitely got problems. Well, so I mean, was, seeing a psychiatrist is probably a good thing because being late shouldn't bring you down to tears, almost, you know. No, no, it was bad. I remember when that thing was well, weird because, like, I would be working at subway after work for like until like, eight or nine o'clock, and then I would walk. Like we would leave post, I'd walk all the way down to where we were living. Yeah. Get back on post, and be home at nine o'clock at night. And the whole day, I didn't get to eat because everyone else had called off. Besides the manager. Yeah. Well, again, I mean, if if everyone's calling off, but but Wayne's right though. If if that's hitting you like that, then you have to just stop because you can't handle it. Obviously. I, I, I've gotten better. Yeah. Oh, well, see, that's I good. That's very good. 
<laughs> I still can't. I don't like being late. Oh, yeah. And I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if maybe when we were kids or something, we were always running late and stuff. But as an adult, I, being a half hour early is like where I want to be, which is probably way too early. Yeah, but I mean, a half hour is a little too early, but it, it does give you time to just kind of get your bearings, you know? You get there, you can take your time, put your coat down, get your desk set up, get your area cleaned out, get your get your coffee going, get your just get yourself organized. I mean... But it also makes me really judgmental people who are always late. Well, don't judge people. I mean, that's that's kind of on you. I mean, it, no, 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 not at work. I mean, in general. Like, if oh, yeah. Says, well, I'm going to be there by 11, and like, then, then I find out it's not going to be until 12. Well, I'm I don't like, like people who are late either. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I like being early than late. But sometimes people aren't. A lot of times, I mean, I'm sure you see people at your job, jobs you've worked. A lot of people just have the tendency to always either be late or be exactly on time or a minute late every single day. And just, yeah, I think the only reason why it doesn't bother me here is because our time to come in is between six and nine. So yeah, everyone's having a three-hour window is probably a little nicer. Yeah, Chewy, <laughs> you can't do it at all. With Erica, you can't. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm never late myself, so I'm I'm not worried about it. I don't you freak get out. From it. If, if I'm late or nothing like that, I, I I just don't be late. And if I think I'm gonna, I just give them a heads up. I know, oh ambulance. I know if I'm no, going just, to be I late, I, I'll call them. If, if 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 they can't take of me being late one time in six months and me letting them know, then fuck them. Especially when you see other people being late in the same job. It's like listen, yeah. they deal with this guy showing up late five days a week. And I'm late one day because I fucking the I, I had to stop for gas to get Erica smokes before I left. But again, I probably wasn't even late. But I will call in case I might be late. And then most of the time I'm still not late. But the fact that I call yeah. them just letting them know, I think that shows a good thing. But I've I've earned my reputation to be able to be late once every few months, if that happens. Usually it doesn't. But things do yeah, come up. Yeah, I mean, sometimes shit happens. And, and and you can't let it fucking ruin your day. You can't let it fucking overwhelm you. It's like, shit, I'm going to be late. The, 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 no, yeah, I don't this know morning where that was crazy. From, but I, yeah. <laughs> I, I've had pain. I've been, they've gone a lot less, especially with the job where I don't have to be like right there, right on time. Yeah, it definitely helps. I mean, but, fuck. Yeah, when I was younger, when I like... I I would have complete no fit, like mm -mm, could not do it. But yeah, Wayne had me. I remember that Wayne had to go in and actually physically quit for me because I, because it. So Wayne is the one who pushed me to get into therapy when we were living in Germany <sighs> because I couldn't miss school. I couldn't be late. It was all that shit. And um. Day that I had therapy, I had requested off, but they would they kept scheduling me for that day. So going to therapy would make me late to come into work, yeah, well, which is why I was panicking so bad. Well, see, actually, in a job, therapy is not a good excuse. Like if if one of my cooks told well, me no, they had was, therapy, well, no. I'd be like, I, I fucking was open for, I was open for the rest of the week. It was just that one specific day. Now, Remember, were they like well? Were they aware of it ahead of time, or did it? Did, yes. All right. Well, then, if, if they were aware aware of it and okay, then it should have been a problem. It was the fact that I was one of the only people who didn't call off constantly. Yeah. So that's a good thing. So, so like you, that, you should that have had a them pride. Relying on a sixteen-year-old too much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but some places kind of get like that. There's nothing they can do. Um, I mean, it, it's you can't blame them for relying because their one person that's reliable is 16. Then they have no choice. I mean, if, if, if they have eight people working there and seven of them are over 18 and, and they're all fuck-offs and call-offs, but they can't fire them because they need every able body they possibly can, and they got one reliable person, a 16-year-old girl going to school, all that makes you look like is a person ready to get into the working world in a good way. Yeah. That just makes you look good. Well, I mean, it, it sucks for them. They're in a shitty spot at the time. 
but businesses, especially small businesses, Subway's not a small business, but it is down at the ground level, like in the individual oh, yeah. markets. And when, well, that was the first one open in Germany. Yeah, so it's probably just some guy owning it or some lady owning it, and then trying to hire good people and not being able to find good people and trying to hold on to the people that you have, even if they're fucking you in, in every which way. Small so businesses have it rough. It was funny because the one, well, yeah, it was this, guy, this place was German owned, and because it was in Germany, they had to follow German law when it comes to their produce. So when everyone talks about like how subways are here, and they're like, yeah, everything comes free, this and that, it, we had to do all that ourselves. We had to shred our, we had to get our fresh veggies every day because that's the law in Germany. Well, that that's a good thing that it's fresher. Having food well, fresher is not a bad thing. I mean, it takes a little more work on their part, weird. but fuck it. <laughs> well, it was just weird because how they, they everyone talks about it, it's not that good. And I'm like, when I was working, it was great. Yeah, see, I don't get that fact. When, like, when people bash Subway, like, you know, oh, I can't stand that shit. A lot of their stuff is fresh. And it's made right in front of you. If it's not good, that means you're not getting a good sandwich. You get to pick what you get. It's, it's it's not like the turkey breast from Subway tastes different from the turkey breast from Jimmy John's. Or the yeah. honey ham from Subway tastes different than the honey ham from Primo Hoagies. They're not very different. Yeah. They're all basically the same flavor. And all the rest yeah, of the it's stuff, it's kind of up to you. <laughs> like, it still looks preservative, and I'm like, so is almost everything yes. you put in your body. So is everything. Unless you're out there physically growing it or you buy strictly organic. It's probably got preserve preservatives in it. If not, they would have to restock everything on them shelves every two to three days. Like everything. Every can of veggies, every can of fruit, every fucking fruit, everything out there has preservatives. Preservative. I can't fucking say the goddamn word. Holy shit. But organic, not so much. I think they still have some. I just don't think it's as much nearly as the other stuff. Or you can just do grow your own shit. You don't like it, grow your own stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's always like an option. You. Huh? I like you, but it's just like, right where I am now. Oh, yeah. I have certain little kids, they freaking destroy everything. Yeah, that's the tough part about being the project is you got little kids that like to destroy shit and they think it's funny. And the parents can do shit. Exactly. Which like is... If anyone came to me and said, hey, your kids jumped in here and did this, I'd be like, are you fucking kidding me? Yep. But then again, you know. Eh. And you can't be everyone's fucking parent. That's a shitty part. I mean, you as a parent, if your kid acted stupid or fucked around, you would let the kid know, hey, don't be a fucking idiot. Don't do that. Real people don't do that yeah. shit. But a lot of parents now, I mean... If, if you go outside and there's a kid stomping through your garden, ripping it apart, a kid that knows better, maybe 8, 9, 10, 11 years old, who knows better, and he's he's got his mom's fucking, I don't know, gardening fucking shears or whatever, and he's ripping at your garden and laughing and giggling and knowing what he's doing, and you go out there, get off my fucking lawn, you little piece of shit, and you fucking you yell at him and he runs, his parent might come over to you and start a fight. Because he probably said, oh, that lady yelled at me for no reason at all. I remember we were living in Trent, and me and Justin, we were at school together, and um, these kids were throwing rocks at the dog, and we had that, remember the privacy fence? Yeah. They were throwing shit over the fence at the dog, oh, making yeah. the dog so crazy. I was outside, and I was playing with the hose with the kids. I ended up accidentally spraying all those kids down with the water. Sure. Accidentally. Hopefully they fucking well, stopped. Well, they brought so. their parents to the house. They, they had their parents come. <laughs> and they were in the And I'm like, and this we have a huge window. And you can see those yeah. three dogs. Exactly. Like, looking out the window. And I'm like, do you see how big those dogs are? What would happen if one of these dogs were happened to be aggressive and got out and bit one of your kids? Yeah. And honestly, I don't blame them. If they're getting rocks thrown at them, if someone was throwing rocks at me, I'd want to hit that fucking kid. It yeah, sucks exactly. because I'm an adult and would probably go to jail, but if I got a little fucking 10 year old whipping rocks at me that don't stop, rocks hurt. Even from a 10 year old. I want to go up there and smack that fucking kid in the back of the head and say, knock the shit off, you idiot. 
Yep, you're, you're being a little douche. Douchey. Yeah, don't be a fucking asshole. Put the fucking rocks down and go play with, like, action figures or something. Or climb a tree. Don't fucking throw rocks. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just a stupid shit. It's parents letting kids get away with too much nowadays. And then everyone blaming everyone else. Oh, my kid's perfect. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't lie to me. As these kids looking around with mom's fucking like, legs like, smiling at you. Normally, I'm like, okay, what did they do? Like, it's not even like... Yeah. Bunch of fucking stupid. I mean, everyone loves their kids, of course, and they, they defend their kids. But you also got to figure out, even your own kids, get you little fucking assholes. And they act like little assholes all the time. I feel bad for teachers. God damn. Teachers should get paid so much more than they do. They, they really should. Teachers should be our modern day rock stars. People should aspire to be teachers. These teachers are molding our future. These teachers should be paid like fucking actors and movie stars. They should be. Because they're, they're doing work that no one wants to fucking do. Yeah. And the they impact they have the on the future is probably more than almost every other person's impact out there. That's the thing. is They, they, um, they get almost nothing. I know. For, for it. And then they use their own money to buy stuff for the school. It, it, it's crazy. But I do got to get in there. It's uh, 33. I'm a few minutes late. No, I'm not All late, right. but I'm late All in right. my head. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Love you. I love you, too. Have a good day. You too. All right. Bye. Yeah, that goes for your kid, too. Whoever your kid is, he's probably an asshole. If he's not, doing a hell of a job. Be nice to people.